my gosh, it's chilly today. It wouldn't be so bad without the wind. Hi. How you doing? I haven't seen you for a minute, huh? Mm-hmm. You know, funnily enough, I just ran into... Gosh, who is that? Is that one of your cousins? One of your family members at the Casey's just last weekend. Let me go ahead and get you checked in. Yeah, we had ran out of bush light just before halftime. Yeah, not cool. We ended up really needing it too because you see the passes. <sighs> Hawks really need to step it up this season. I don't know what's going on. Okay, you're all checked in. So tell me a little bit about why I'm finally seeing you here. Okay, all right, so you found some swollen lymph nodes in the jaw. Yeah, that's scary. Okay. Let me go ahead and write that down. And when did you notice that? This morning. Glad you gave us a call then. Yeah, I mean, it can mean a lot of things. For the most part, it's fairly mild. But we will definitely take a little look and while we're here, since it's been a little bit, we'll go ahead and take a little gander at everything else too, okay? So tell me a little bit about the quality of the lymph nodes. Does it feel rather hard and immobile? Are they soft and movable? What did it feel like? All right. And did you have anything else going on? No. And anything that I need to add to your chart that we don't already know? Okay. I figured if there was, I would have already heard about it. Good. All right. So, I'd like to start with just taking a little listen to your heart and lungs, okay? So, from this point onwards, I'm going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Wonderful. So, let's get a little listen. are always so cold. Okay, so I'm just going to have you breathe normally here. I'll take a little listen to the heart. So what's been going on with you? Ah, okay. Yeah, no, that's exciting. You know, there's not a whole lot that's going on around here, so even the littlest things seem pretty big. Mm -hmm. Nothing much here. I mean, we did get the ram fix, so that's cool. Runs like a dream. It still doesn't have reverse, but you can still get a lot of places without reverse. Fixing that transmission is just, it's not really a priority right now. So, I'm going to put the stethoscope on your chest, and I just want you to breathe in when I tell you to, and then breathe out, okay? Yeah, you know the drill. So if you could just take a deep breath in, 
and out. There we go. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Last one on the anterior chest. Deep breath in. I'm going to listen to the back of your chest a little bit, okay? So, let's take a deep breath in here. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Good. That's good. Let me just jot this down. Getting another Dollar General. Yeah, it's pretty big. I mean, grocery store went out of business when the first one went up. So, that kind of sucked, but... Those parking lots are always packed whenever I drive by. And... Looks like we didn't grab your pulse. Do you remember if my assistant took your pulse? No? Okay. Well, do you have a preference as to which arm I take your pulse from? Okay, let's just come right here. So, I'm just going to put my fingers right below the wrist here on the thumb side. We'll hang out for just a moment. Okay. It's probably a lot slower than when you came in. Since we did all that deep breathing. Okay, that feels pretty good. So, we're going to be taking a look at your eyes, your ears, your nose, and your throat and mouth, right? Any sort of issues with any of these areas? Nope. Okay, let's start with the eyes. So, I'm going to get in real close. We're just going to have a little look here. Uh, I did remember something else that's going on. <laughs> the neighbor decided to head down to Arizona. I think their daughter's having a wedding down there. So, I've been feeding the chickens. They have a little farm just outside of town. So, on my way to work and on my way back, check up on the chickens, and the rooster's mean. <laughs> They've got a mean rooster. So, just 
just avoid the rooster, check on the hens, <laughs> that sort of thing. Your eyes are pretty bright. Sclera is nice and clear. I just want to check on the conjunctiva a bit. I'm going to pull down the eyelids and I want you to look up. Pull down. Look up. Good. And now I'm going to pull up and I want you to look down. Pull up. You look down. Good. That looks great. Now, I'm just going to have you look at my nose real quick. And we're just going to bring the light in. Good. In. Right. In. Okay. And let's come. In here. So we're getting some good pupillary movement here. That looks great. Okay. I'm going to have you follow my finger. All right. So give my finger here. We're going to come in. This finger right here. So we go in and out, in and out. Last one. In and out. Wonderful. of yours. I'm going to pop on a speculum and we'll take a little look at the ears. If I could just have you hold still for me, right? I'm just going to pull your ear Take a little peek in here, make sure your ear canal isn't obstructed or not. Good, mammogram brain looks good. So, I know we were just talking about one of your family members that I ran into, whatever your cousin is. And it reminded me. My cousin was in your graduating class, right? Yeah, that one. Okay, you're fine. Right, that's what I thought, but my mama was just saying that she thought they were near you. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and take a peek. At the other side. Oh, there wasn't really any any sort of reason. It just kind of came up in conversation. You know how moms are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, looks like we're keeping ears pretty clean here. Pretty good. 
I'm gonna grab a new speculum and we'll look at the nose. Is it still raining out when you came in? <laughs> of course it is. We needed rain all summer and as soon as the farmers get into the fields to harvest, that's when we get all our rain. <laughs> Alright, so I am just going to have you tip your head back. We're going to look inside the nose here. There we go. Okay, so... I wasn't sure if it was going to be anything when I was looking at the eye. But the inside of your nose is a little inflamed. Do you have any sort of seasonal allergies at all? Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna jot that down. Oh, I just mentioned that rain comes just as everybody starts to harvest, but I think for that little stint there, when it was dry as a bone, that kicked everybody's allergies up, huh? Yeah, the tractor's kicking up dust on the gravels. Lots of corn dust. <laughs> I always get the itchy eyes and stuffed up sinuses when that happens. It's a bad time to live rural. So, I'm gonna take a little closer peek at the nose. Since we've figured out that most likely we're dealing with the remnants of allergies. Not too psyched for winter, but I do like that bit of time where we aren't dealing with seasonal allergies. Speaking of winter, so you remember how my brother has been looking for some odd jobs? Yeah, he's put up a couple of flyers, but he's thinking to maybe do some snow plowing over the winter. So if you happen to want any sort of snow removal, I think he'll do sidewalks, driveways, whatever. Just let me know, okay? I'm trying to help him out. So let's take a look at your mouth and throat. And if I could just have you open up. And I'm going to put this on your tongue here. There we go. Alright. And if you could say ah for me. There we go. Okay, and you can stop. So, our teeth look good. Good. And if you could just lift your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Good. And can you stick your tongue out real quick? Can you move it from one side? The other? Up and down. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the abdominal exam, and then we'll come back up to the lymph nodes, right? Okay, so I'm going to be pressing in 
to your abdomen, are there any parts that are sore, any pain? Okay, so we're going to start with a firm but more gentle than deep pressure, and then we'll get into the deep pressure, okay? Yep, just keep breathing normally here. Did you happen to hear about those seventh graders out on that level B west of town? <laughs> yeah, flipped a four wheeler out in one of those fields. Luckily, nobody was hurt. They took him to the ER in the next county. Parents were not happy at all. <laughs> I heard the the ambulance sirens, so I texted a few people, and uh, the mayor ended up telling me that that it was a a couple of kids goofing around. At first, you want to be. on four-wheelers like that and then you kind of remember that you were doing that sort of stuff a lot younger than they were. So this is where it might get a little uncomfortable. I'm going to be using a deep pressure with both of my hands so let me know if there's any pain, okay? It'll be pretty quick. I'm just gonna get in there a little bit really make sure there's nothing going on. There we go. Good, just like that. So how was that? Okay, not too bad. That's good. So let's take a look at those lymph nodes then. So I'm going to do all of them real quick. Go behind the ears and in front of the ears. And then Oh, you were kidding. Interesting. All right. And then down the neck. Okay. Let me take a little bit of a more focused feel with that. Get a little more fierce, huh? Hear anything about isolated tornadoes, that sort of thing? Yeah, I think they're saying it's supposed to hit south of here. I don't know. They always say that, and then it's like I'm hearing that the farm down the road lost the roof off the silo. I don't know. It seemed to be a magnet for goofy weather, huh? Other side. Okay, so it's definitely more on this side. Under the weather at all lately? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So that's what I think that might be from. So I mean, on your examination of everything else, it's all looking good. And otherwise, I wouldn't have any reason to be concerned. Let me go ahead and just recheck the lymph nodes. I'll make sure to hit the head and the clavicle as well. And then behind the ears. And then in front of the ears. Okay. And then we go through the submental and submandibular here. Hmm. Just those ones, just on that side there. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna jot down some notes real quick. So what I think I want to do here is, I'm going to let you think about which way you want to go, but what I think is going on is you just got over that little bit of sickness, so I think your body's just clearing out the last bit of that. I mean, it's not as big as you reported for sure. And I've got some movement to it. I mean, it just feels a little distended, really. So we can keep an eye on it. We can see maybe you want to come back in a week or two weeks. Or you could just keep an eye on it and give us a call. And see if that goes down. Otherwise, we can do some blood work and I'll just do the full panel because I know it's been a while since you've been here. And we can see if there's anything going on there and then regroup, okay? It's really up to you on how you want to handle this. If you want to just kind of baby it for a bit and keep us in the loop, or if you want to do some further investigation. My professional opinion, there's nothing else wrong with you, so I personally would just keep an eye on it, especially since it's really... there's really not too much going on here. But that's completely up to you. I would absolutely not fault you you want to be safer than sorry, right? Okay. Yes, we can absolutely go that route. And as soon as you give us a call, if something goes on, you know we can get you in the same day. Okay? doesn't concern me too much, I think. So if you want to just keep an eye on it and let us know how things are going, okay? So 
So if you didn't have anything else you needed me to check on, I think that that'll about do it. Okay? That's all good? All right. It was absolutely wonderful having you here, and it's been a while since I've seen you. I'd like to see a little more in here. Though actually, so we're having kind of a, I mean, party's a bit of a big word for it, but we're having a watch party for the next away game in the garage. If you happen to want to come, I think we're doing pulled pork sandwiches, something like that. It's BYOB. I mean, I'll always have bush, but if you want something different than that, more than welcome to bring it. Door will be unlocked. You can just walk in. I mean, it's going to be going probably well, once the game at. So I think if it ends maybe about nine-ish, we were thinking about doing a little bit of bar hopping through the county. If you happen to want to do that. It's up to you. Okay. All right. Well, that's all good. And do remember, if you want any snow removal, just let me know. I can let my brother know that you're interested. Other than that, I think that's it. All right. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I create primarily medical alternative medicine slash pseudoscience and personal attention ASMR role plays. If you want to check out a specific category of my video, channel playlists have everything from sci-fi to historical to even fantasy videos. If you want to support my work, consider checking out my Patreon profile in the description box where I offer early access to videos, exclusive content,